Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. I am Mike Fuson. Uh, I'm joined today by Tom Petley from Halo ITSM. Tom, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for me back again. Yeah, great to be here. Yeah, yeah, it's great to get together again and um, start talking everything Halo. So one of the things that we talked about um, as a topic is why do customers choose Halo? Um, there's a lot of ITSM systems out on the market. Um, as you know, um, you know, we've talked to Gartner about it a whole bunch. You know, everybody goes, oh, I want the Magic Quadrant. Well, Magic Quadrant is like barely the tip of the iceberg. Um, there are literally hundreds of platforms that are out there, um, some of them very uh, niche um, that serve very, very specific purposes. Um, Halo uh, is a great innovative platform. Um, you guys have uh, been a uh, platinum sponsor, diamond sponsor, super duper uber sponsor <laughs> um, of the HDI uh, conference. We, we, we were able to join Halo um, uh, out in uh, Las Vegas here in the spring. Uh, we'll be joining you guys again here in the fall at the HDI conference in Orlando, um, which is very exciting. Um, come over and see us. It'll be the giant booth. Can't miss it. Can't miss the Halo <laughs> colors or the Halo hanging over our heads. Um, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and come check out the system. But you know, why do customers pick Halo? That's a very good question. Um... I think it's quite it's quite it's quite easy for us to answer. I think because it's kind of built into what we do. It's um, Halo is a very intuitive platform. We design it to be intuitive, um, with kind of a low kind of administrative time, fast time to value, all those kind of things that make it just really quick and easy to adopt. Um, and then once it's adopted as well, it's really nice to use. It's it's so fast to use. It's we're kind of lucky that we're well, not lucky, but we're on the latest framework, so it makes it really really quick. Um, and yeah, and it's modern. Um, it's just a really, really modern system. Um, it's easy to run, nice to use. Um, hopefully you've seen the same things when you've been using it and oh, kind of oh, absolutely. getting customers same things, it. Yeah, same things we've heard from customers when they get a chance to take a look at it. Something we heard a lot in Vegas when folks mm -hmm. were walking up. It is definitely a very modern look, um, what customers expect a system to look like. Um, but you guys have future-proofed this to a degree as well. <laughs> with the way that you actually develop the system. Talk to me a little bit about how you guys, and it's from, it's how you started and what you continue to do, because I know you're the product owner for Halo ITSM. So how yeah, do you guys continue to innovate so quickly? It's, it's something that's kind of always forefront of my mind is how we, we're, we're a product for the future as well. Most IT departments, they're trying to get somewhere. They're not, they're not the finished article. Um, no one's, no one's, finished um, and that's the same thing with a product so I think it's really important as a as a product owner that my role is to continue to advance the product um, with customers demands really and customers expectations of a product and it's, it's amazing how much I've been doing this role a long time um, it's amazing how things have changed and things that didn't even used to be something we even thought about um, are now kind of a mandatory requirement a must have things like chatbots or even integrations with Microsoft Teams. If I'd said that was a mandatory requirement two years ago, everyone would be like, what are you talking about? No one uses Teams. Um, and now everyone <laughs> and now everyone uses it. Um, so it's things like that where we we we're, we're always got our um, kind of ear to the ground. We're always kind of on top of the latest trends. And that's kind of one side of it. It's kind of our experience and our knowledge and our um, expertise in the industry. But we also take a lot of customer feedback on board. So that could be via um, kind of interactions with our with your CSMs or um, via the support channels. We've also got a community where customers can just um, log suggestions, and the more people that like them, the more people that comment on them, um, they're the ones that we start to push towards our roadmap as well. Um, so a lot of the product development is done by kind of customer feedback and engagement with customers and partners as well. Engagement with partners like yourselves. Um, and we've done several loads of features actually you guys have suggested and integrations and uh, things like that that you've had experience of with your time in the industry and um we're just list we're listeners basically we um, um we kind of have our own expertise but also just listen to what everyone else says as well well it's also how how you've set up to continue to mm. build this platform you build it using an agile model so we've seen it on the flip side where mm during an implementation, there's a particular feature or function that a customer may need um, 
unlike what happens in, in typical software development, and I'm not going to pick on even <laughs> any of the ITSM vendors, just, you know, typical software thing, that feature may be introduced you know, months or, or quarters from now, mm. um, where, <coughs> excuse me, we've seen uh, a feature or function that uh, would benefit the customer base as a whole, uh, that you guys will evaluate it and come back, and a week later, we're beta testing the feature change. Absolutely. Because it's something that benefits yeah. the customers as a whole. Not that every single thing customers ask for instantly gets <laughs> built. I don't want to set that stage in our expectation <laughs> for customers. But uh, um, you guys are able to be very responsive because of the way you do yeah. your development. Where you're able way. to make those cha make those those mm -hmm. changes um, a bit more quickly than might be typical of, of a typical software vendor. Yeah, I think it's the way we're structured um, as a company. We have our development team very, very closely linked to our our services team, professional services team, and also our support teams as well. So we're constantly in communication. And if someone says, you have a really good feature that's just something good for the future, we might schedule that for, for later on. If it's something that is actually causing, maybe causing a little holdup in the project or something that's um, actually, we could do this tiny little change and that would stop us having to spend I don't know, a week building this very complicated workflow, then, then actually we'll go down the little change route and, and put that into it. Um, we're always looking for that that solution that's, that works kind of for everyone. It works really well. We don't we don't necessarily want to do workarounds if if possible. Um, and we're very happy to to use development time as a as a tool set in it. Really, it doesn't just have to be um, purely configuration. We're happy to do little little changes. Just they're often so small. It's like can we just have this this button just have an extra field on it or something? I don't know, just something very basic. Um, and we'll be like, okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, and we'll make it available to everyone in the future as well. Um, so it's not just for we don't do any like forking of code or anything. It's just we just take good ideas and put them into the software, really. Yeah, and and, and that's what it is. It's very customer driven. Mm, um, and it, it's something we talk to customers about as well. Um, you took an approach rather than vying for the pink elephant approval, not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. What you've built as the starter out of the box system mm. is really the things from your experience and yeah. from what you've seen in the market, which spans decades, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, a lot of customers don't realize that. You know. <laughs> well, while Halo is a newer product, this mm. is, you guys aren't new to this game. You aren't new to this industry. And you've taken an approach of what are the best practices that people actually use? Mm -hmm. Not, yeah. well, the, the textbook says we should have these things. And so what do the people normally use? Um, and that's what we've seen for a lot of our customers. They go, wow, okay, we need to add a couple of things that are unique to us. But most of this stuff is the things we can use already, yeah, um, and, and and leverage to our benefit. Yeah, completely agree. Like we're 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 ITIL aligned out the box. Um, the ITIL is a great framework. It's a really really important framework in IT. Um, but it does it can be restrictive. It can have its um, kind of limitations. It can stop you. I don't. Know, it can be quite time consuming sometimes to. Um, and it might doesn't fit every organization like out as it is a standard out of the box. Um, so we make it flexible. So we allow we, out of the box for ITIL, but you can you can tweak it, you can change it, you can adapt the workflows, you can add fields in at different points. I don't know, if you don't want to, I don't know, if, good example, if you don't want to follow an impact urgency matrix, you can just put the priority field on, for example, just very, very simple things that allow it to be flexible to, to all industries, really, in all kind of use cases. Um, yeah, that's kind of another reason people go it, for it, us it, out the box. It, it, it's an exciting, it's an exciting <laughs> thing. Um, and and if you haven't seen Halo, you know, reach out, hit the Excalibur Data System website. You can sign up for a free trial. Um, and that's something maybe to talk a little bit about too. This is SaaS hosted, um, but it can also be on prem. It's uh, at the option of the customer. But you guys have done something with SaaS hosting. Um, that really is more next generation where you have a truly elastic platform for the customer. Um, because we've had customers that have had other SaaS solutions mm -hmm. um, and they run it sometimes to performance challenges because mm -hmm. they're limited um, 
in in SaaS, but the way you've designed it um, and the way that it sits within exactly. your SaaS platform, it is elastic. So as a customer needs to consume more, the, the yeah. system responds to that. Yeah, absolutely. It's another, I think it's another thing about how we're structured is that the infrastructure team is, is again, very closely aligned to the product team, the, the services team and all that. Um, and it just means that when we were planning the infrastructure for how we would uh, deploy Holo, um, we knew it had to be scalable. We knew it's um, it was never going to be a static demand. It's everyone has peak times, kind of low times, and even different regions as well. Like different regions have different. Um, it kind of goes up and down, um, and it's important that we're able to to manage the the real high level demand periods. Also, <laughs> from a purely kind of uh, kind of managing our own kind of costs, just making sure we're not overspending during the the quiet time. So if we were to run everything at maximum forever, then it'd be very, very expensive, um, which is why you need an elastic system that can just um, scale up and down depending on on demand. And often when um, SaaS platforms run into performance issues is because that top level, they're just hitting the top level basically. Um, and it could be that servers are static and they can't actually, they don't deploy more servers dynamically, which is what we do. Um, or it could simply just be that there's a cost cap there somewhere, which is stopping it from scaling. I don't. There's loads of reasons, um, but we made sure ours goes up and down, and it goes up and down throughout the day, and it's all just completely seamless, and <laughs> no one even notices. Um, and, well, and, and, that, and that's what we hear from customers is their experience has been different than what they were used to, mm-hmm. uh, because the system performs reliably and quickly, consistently, no matter. If it's uh, you know a, a peak time of a particular day, that's a heavy time for them. Um, or you know a, a, as as we've talked about, you know what what customers experience. You know this is an ITSM platform. So what happens? There's a major incident. So all of a sudden volume goes up, um, and then there's times where it's a bit quieter. Everything's running the way that it's supposed yeah. to, um, and the volume isn't quite as high. Um, and so the, the, the ability to have that and it's that customer experience you know as a uh, mm-hmm. agent that i'm going to have or as a customer hitting the customer portal um, yes. i'm not really going to know whether it's a peak time or not peak time <laughs> i'm going to have a great experience of being able to do the things i need to do uh, mm-hmm. within halo yeah absolutely and the other thing just to say on that is that customers they're not always if you if we were to benchmark a customer's demand and try and work it out on a static level that's fine, but customers' demand goes up and down um, throughout the year as well. So if you think of like education or schools or universities, they'll have very, very busy times at the start of the academic year and then it'll drop down and it'll go up. And um, it's something that you just can't do it static anymore. You, you really need to basically have an elastic infrastructure environment. It's always exciting to talk Halo with you, Tom. Always exciting. So for those that are watching, uh, ExcaliburData.com. Um, you can sign up for your own free trial of Halo ITSM. Try it out for yourself. Um, reach out to the team at Excalibur. We'd be happy to do a demo for you. Get somebody like uh, Tom or one of his cohorts um, from Halo to jump in with us and, and talk ITSM and the difference that Halo can make for your organization. Tom, thanks for joining me today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you all again soon. Take care, everyone.